Sup guys, uh, Heat King here, bringing you some Resident Evil news. Uh, well, technically, updates from Dark Skullum and some confirmation stuff. Uh, first off, uh, remember to like and subscribe. And yeah, let's just go into this. So the state of play came and went. Terrible state of play. You know, I thought we were going to get that Resident Evil 9 reveal, but we didn't. Also, I'm using a new camera here. Hopefully it works well. I... I don't know, it's going to be the first time I'm using it. I tried using it yesterday for the streaming, but it didn't turn out well. Plus, the stream itself was was trash, so, you know, no point, right? Um, yeah, I'm just very disappointed. I was really, really hoping we were going to get that Resident Evil 9 reveal, but uh, it didn't pan out. Uh, and also, there was a lot of information on that uh, Play Asia site that I didn't read up on uh, uh, with the, from the get-go. So let me let me see if I can find that and, and read through that very quickly. That'd be that'd be a fun thing to do, maybe um, if I can find it. There we go. So I, I I ignored the entire item description down here. So apparently, this is called. Resident Evil 9 Revenant Shadows. Revenant Shadows is the latest installment in the uh, iconic survival horror series by Capcom. This game continues the chilling legacy with a fresh story, new characters, and the return of familiar faces. Set in an expansive, terrifying world filled with new threats and mysteries, Reverend Shadows blends intense action, integrate puzzles, and the atmospheric dread that fans have come to love. Yeah, I should have read that first. But uh, the, the thing is, the thing is, e even that image, they even they even say it on the image itself. It's a it's a it's a preliminary preliminary picture. So they're trying to tell you from the get go, this is not the actual art itself. But it makes me wonder. I mean, this is still up. It hasn't gone down. It's still up. And so is so is RE Zero Remaster, RE Five Remaster, and RE. Call Veronica X remaster for PS5. So I don't know. This is a legit site. They have they have done they have done crappy things before. I, rem I remember. Do you guys remember the uh, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis edition that never panned out? So uh, it, it it can happen. It can happen. It can happen. Um, so yeah, obviously take it with a grain of salt. But it's very possible that Play Asia did get some info and that you know that re night is legit happening it's just you know the reveal isn't yet now if that makes sense anyway let's go through what we what we learned uh so yeah dust column's post about re0 and re core veronica remakes happening apparently they have been uh collaborated ign came up and pretty much said this uh, IGN now uh, corroborates uh, Dust Golem claims. IGN can co corroborate that Zero and Co Veronica are the next two Resident Evil remakes scheduled to release. Capcom has yet to comment on the reports. Okay, so IGN saying this is happening. This is legit. And then we have Andy Robinson and the VGC from uh, on Twitter saying, "Listen to this man regarding Dusk's post on RE Zero and Co Veronica development being in development right now." So you've got two people pretty much saying, "Yeah, this is legit. It's happening." Okay. So RE0 and Call Veronica are in fact a go. All right. All right. Fine. It seems he's got something right finally after so long. And he also was right about RE9 not being revealed at the state of play. But uh, for me, it never made any sense to reveal it at state of uh, play. play. Not, not technically state of play, but May. That was my biggest issue. It's like, oh yeah, there's going to be a state of play on May and RE9 is going to be revealed there. I was always iffy on that. I've always said, I, I feel like June would make the most sense because every time an RE game has been revealed, mainly seven, sorry, mainly two remakes, seven, was it, was it, which order was it? It was seven, two remake, and then eight, and then four remake. Those four games were revealed in June events, in June events specifically. So that was my, I'm kind of still thinking maybe we get something at the, uh, at the uh, game fest, but uh, at this point, it's very, it's most looking likely that Capcom is not releasing RE9 um, in early 2025, which is crazy. Unless they pull an RE3 stunt, where they basically reveal the game very late, but then they release it very early, like they did with RE3 remake. It's very possible they could do that, but I don't know. I don't know. Let's go through what he has to say here uh, regarding uh, some of the stuff here with Dusk. Uh, there. Okay, so some of this is out of order. Cold Veronica got greenlit in late 2022. So when I said this, when I said this, it wasn't at the cards at the time. So when I said this, it wasn't at the cards at the time. Hmm. See, this is where it doesn't make any sense. Last year there was a 4chan leak. 
I know it's 4chan, but sometimes it's 50-50, you can get some stuff right. I've even made a video about this, where a game tester apparently played uh, uh, an early build of Resident Evil called Veronica. This was late 2023. Dark Golem, I'm pretty sure, came up and said that it was fake. Now he's saying he's known that this game's been in development since 2022, and he's known about it for a year now. In one of his posts. So this guy straight up came and lied and said, oh, that game, that 4chan post is bullshit. No, that guy literally... That guy was the first person to tell us, yay, a Code Veronica remake is officially in the works. So this is a case of Dust Gollum stealing, uh, if you will, the medal from someone else that gave us the dirt first, if you will. Okay, so this is regarding RE90 and Code Veronica. These three being in development doesn't mean they're not the only three in development, just the only three I'm choosing to publicly talk about. The five titles thing, I'm not flip-flopping on at all. Just not talking about here. Only flip flop thing for me is RE9's review or not. Okay, so remember this guy said early 2024 24, that there was five RE games in development. Now we assumed some of those included RE1 Remake and RE5. He's saying that's not the case. He's saying that RE0, RE9, Cobronica are the ones being made along with two other RE games. What are those other RE games? And I'm curious what those RE other games are. If it's not RE5 and RE1 Remake, what is it then? And the only thing that's coming to my head is it's either another multiplayer game by Capcom, you know, because Capcom loves to do RE multiplayer and failing miserably at it. Or it's remakes of Umbrella Chronicles and Dark Side Chronicles. And when I mean remakes of those, I specifically mean remakes or reimagined versions of the Umbrella's End slash Dark Legacy scenario and the Operation Heavy R starring Krauser. Because those two scenarios need to be remade, in my opinion. And because the events of Operation Heavier are detailed somewhat differently in Krauser's report in RE4 Remake, it only makes sense that they remake that game and give us the newer version of it, the newer version of these scenarios. My dream for an Umbrella's End scenario would be to have Chris, Jill, Leon, uh, Barry, Carlos, Rebecca, Billy, to have all of these characters that survived the original saga to come together and be and work together to take down umbrella in this big massive sort of uh avengers assemble style game that would be that would be the dream you know if they did that if capcom actually sat down they were like we're gonna remake this but we're gonna make it bigger and grander and that that would be great and you could you could do so much with that with that concept but i digress uh, so at this point if, if dusk is right and, I, and and you know so far he is he has been right ign and vgf have collaborated that yeah Code Veronica, you know, Code Veronica and RE0 are happening. So most likely the other two RE games are happening as well. But what are they? I don't know. It could be Revelations 3 for all I know. It could be that Rebecca game that got cancelled. I don't know. Um, They're at least not in dev at this moment. So this is in regards to RE1 and RE5 remake. They're at, they're at least not in dev at this moment. And as RE games these days take several years to be made, won't be seeing them anytime soon. I sort of believe remaking all the mainline RE games is inevitable more when than if. But for now, Zero and Kororika are 1 and 5 are not. I feel like RE1 is definitely happening for the simple fact that they cancelled fan remakes of both RE1 and Cold Veronica. Now, this was over donations apparently, but they still got cancelled. And it just feels like history repeats itself. There's the same thing happening with RE2's fan remake and then Capcom officially announced it. Plus, why make why remake RE0 and then not remake RE1 as well? It doesn't make any sense. The only thing that makes sense to me really, the only thing that I can think of that makes that would make make sense in in terms of doing RE1 and RE5 remakes together back to back if you will is just the simple fact for money uh, and saving time and costs. Why? Because then you'd have because it's very easy because if you're filming in the same studio or or just the next studio next door if you will You've got three of the main characters from RE1 are in RE5. Chris, Joe, and Wesker. How easy would it be just to have to hire those same actors to be in this game and then just go over to RE5 and shoot that? And basically, you're shooting both games at the same time, essentially. One is doing that, they're doing this. Next day, next week, they're doing this. Next week, they're doing that. So it's a back and forth kind of thing. And it saves, I, I, I would assume it saves It saves a lot of money because in filmmaking, they do this a lot as well. Hollywood does this a lot of time. Like where they, they, they sometimes try and shoot things back to back. So I feel like maybe this is the reason. Maybe. Which is very weird, because then you get RE0, then you get Code Veronica, and then we're going to go back to a prequel with RE1 again, and then RE5 concluding it. It's, it's very weird if it's done like that. But it's Capcom, man. They like, you know... Whatever, I guess. Whatever. 
Uh, and then, of course, finally, this is the big info here, uh, which is regarding the uh, studios and what studios are making the game. So keeping the best for last. From what I've heard, Zero is primarily being led by K2 and M2, who most recently did Separate Ways DLC for RE4 and were a support studio in RE4 Remake. Code Veronica is Capcom Dev 1 with a lot of the same people who worked on RE2 and RE4 though. Okay, so this is very interesting. My assumption from the beginning was that if they did a Code Veronica remake, that the side team would do it. That Capcom would not give two tosses about, you know, make, taking that game seriously. I'm, and also, if they ever did decide to do an RE0 remake, they would have the side team do that as well. While the main team would do RE1 and RE5 remake. That was my assumption. I'm glad to see I'm kind of wrong on this uh, in terms of Code Veronica actually getting the love it deserves. If this is true, then it means, yes, we're going to get a quality game similar to RE2 and RE4. I know there's a lot of people who don't like these remakes. Personally, I like RE2 Remake, but for me, it's it's a disappointing game in terms of the co content. I don't care about the spiders and that. I care more about the scenarios, okay? I, I hate the fact that as an intercrossing game, it doesn't intercross very well. It's essentially RE1 and over again but without the update that they did with the original re2 where they made sure that you know they had two campaigns four scenarios and that they all intercrossed together somewhat do you know what I mean to tell oh, oh like two different stories at the same do you know what I mean an re2 remake failed at that for me that's the disappointing factor of that game other than that i think it's a terrific technical game i think it's a very fun remake but it could have been better re3 remake enough has been said about that for me, that game has its fun moments. It's a well-made game, but as a remake, it's an absolute disgrace. RE4 Remake for me is a masterpiece. That game got so much right. Everything that I wanted the original RE4 to do, everything that I wanted to see in a remake, they took and they did it. And yeah, there's, there's a few things uh, that I'm a bit iffy on, which is mainly the villains. You know, we, got their, we get their backstories, but we don't get that banter between Leon and the villains now, which is kind of a shame. I really missed seeing those uh, moments between him and Salazar and him and Sadler. But other than that, I think it's it's pretty damn good, and the Separate Ways DLC is just icing on the cake that makes what is already a great game into even a greater one. So for me, the RE4 remake is perfection, or as, as perfect as you can get. That's the that, that's the way to go, in my opinion. And and the fact that they got the same people who did RE2 and 4 working on Code Veronica means that that is going to be a quality game. The only downside is is there's going to be cut content. 100% there's going to be cut content. But also story-wise, what are they going to cut? And I'm, I'm thinking a lot of the Alfred and Alexia stuff is going to get cut. And I'm hoping not. I'm hoping they go they go right into it. We get more of those characters. But I'm nervous when it comes to that stuff. Uh, RE0, I'm not really fussed about. I don't like RE0. For me, if I had to pick an RE game that I like the least, I think I would say RE0 would be, would be on the bottom. Because it looks great. It plays well. But as a prequel, it sucks. As, as a prequel, it doesn't do what a prequel should do, which is focus on the Bravo team. Instead, we focus on Rebecca. And it's not it's not bad that the focus on her. The problem is, is that her character going from RE0 to RE1 Remake feels like a completely different character. So I'm hoping this is a case where they improve it. Same when they improved Ashley in RE4 Remake, that they improve Rebecca in RE0. And then if they do an RE1 Remake, that they make sure that the character is consistent with the character in RE0. I'm not a big fan of Billy, mostly because he's just one of those characters that came in and was forgotten, like. But um, my hope is, is that we get more Bravo team. That's what I want. I want more focus on, obviously, Richard, Kenneth, and Forrest. I want to, I want to, I want to, and Rico. I want to see those guys get, get developed the most. Kevin and Edward obviously die very early on in the game. So, you know, just give them the moments there and be done with it. But those four characters deserve to get developed. So that by the time, by the time we get to RE1 Remake, we actually feel some emotion for their... For their passing and that that's kind of my hope um so in other words i'm not really fussed about re0 the the, the decide team can do what they want with that um if they change it up and that fair enough just for the love of god keep the item box okay i think i think i think i speak for a lot of people here when i say make sure you have the item box in re in re0 this time around uh other than that yeah it's it seems this is legit re0 and re co veronica are indeed happening we're getting those remakes okay it's just a question of which one's going to come out first and obviously i feel like zero is going to be the one that's going to come out first but um yeah it's going to be very interesting how capcom is going to market all of this you also have to keep in mind because the side team is making re0 and they also work on separate ways uh, it, it's it's very it's very likely um that if we do get re9 say in 2025 it's very likely we get zero 
you know, it really depends when RE9 comes out. If we get it early 2025, like really early 2025, it's also very likely we're going to get RE0 in late 2025. Maybe that's how they're going to do it. Uh, or we're going to get it early 2026, very early. Sort of like an RE3 remake situation. Because I don't think that game's going to be very long. I think it's going to be on the small side, okay? It's going to be it's going to be well made, but it's going to be... It's going to be a short game, essentially, okay? Um... And then, of course, Corolica is going to be the next big remake coming out. I'm going to assume 20... He's saying it's been in development since 2022. Capcom did say that they want to make sure that their games take about two years and a half to make. Two years and a half, okay? Um, no more, no less. Now, obviously, Resident Evil, 5 for ex uh, Resident Evil 2 remake, for example, was in development for five years. But keep in mind, the final version of the game we got took them one year to make. One year. One year. So you're going to have to think about how fast they're making these games now at this point. Um, so, yeah, RE9 in 2025, RE0 in um, 2026, I'm assuming for the 30th anniversary, that's going to be the anniversary game, which is crazy, like, and then Call Veronica in 2027, but then what, that's uh, three, four, five, six, seven, five years. That's the problem. If this game's been in development since 2022, would it make more sense for this game to come out sooner? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what Capcom is thinking, especially if they're going to do an RE1 and RE5 remake as well. But here's the good news. The fact that they're doing RE0 and Coronica remakes also means that most likely we're going to get an RE6 remake <laughs> eventually, which I'm looking forward to if they do it right. But uh, that's that's for another time. Anyway, guys, I hope you like this video. As always, remember to like and subscribe, and I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care and bye. Hopefully this video turned out well. Hopefully the audio turned out well. Fingers crossed. Otherwise, I would have wasted a lot of money for nothing. Take care and bye, guys. Take care and bye.